Let's say that you want to see which third-party websites are driving traffic to your website. Even though GA4 collects that data, finding it might be a bit confusing. Also, right now there is no predefined report where you can see that data with a couple of clicks. But don't worry. In this video, I will show you where to find referral data in GA4 and how to create a report that can be quickly accessed in the future. The first method is to use the built-in standard reports. So you should log into your Google Analytics 4 property and then click Reports. Here you should go to Acquisition and Traffic Acquisition. Here by default you will see a table of session default channel groups. In this case, you're focusing only on the data that is stored inside this referral default channel grouping. However, just by looking at this report, you do not know what are those domains that are referring to your website. So to do that, you should click this plus icon and then go to traffic source and session source. Then finally, in the search field, enter referral and hit enter. And here you can see the list of domains that refer to your website. If you want to see full URLs, unfortunately, in most cases, you won't be able to do that because the recent changes in how browsers work, they have limited the referral data only to the domain and not the full URL. So you don't know the exact page where links to your website are placed. So this is one way how to do that. But if you come back tomorrow, you will need to do the same steps. So if you often check referral data and you want to have some constant report of that, another option could be to create a customized report that would also be available among these standard reports. But to do that, you need to have enough permissions because right now, for example, in this official demo account, I cannot customize this report. That's why I will switch to one of my demo properties. So here I am in a different property. I don't have much traffic here, but if I am in the same traffic acquisition report, I see that I already have some referral traffic. So when you open your own property and you go to reports, acquisition and traffic acquisition, then click this pencil icon to customize the report. Basically, we will create a new copy with some modifications. So the first thing would be that we want to narrow down this report only to referral default channel grouping. And we can do that by adding a filter and then select a dimension, which is session default channel group. And the value should be referral. Click OK and then apply. The next step would be to change the primary dimension from this channel group. And instead, we want to see the session source, which will contain the actual domain that refers to our website. So click dimensions, then remove all dimensions except session source. And then you can click apply. Or if you don't want that, another option could be to just change the default dimension from session default channel group to session source. So you can click these three dots and then click set as default. And if you want, you can rearrange that as well. So click apply. And now you will see the session sources here. If you want, you can add or remove certain metrics if you don't need them. But just for sake of demonstration, this is enough. Now click the save button and then click save as new report. Give a name to this report, for example, referrals and click save. Finally, we need to publish this report because it is available in Google Analytics 4, but it is not added to the sidebar. So click back, then go to reports, then click library, and then edit the collection of the reports where you want to include this referrals report. So in my case, this is the collection, which is lifecycle, and I want to add that report in the acquisition section. So I should click edit collection, which is of this collection. So I click edit, and then here I scroll down to find that referral traffic. Here it is, and then I drag it right here. Then click Save and Save changes to the current collection. Then go back and the next time you go to your Google Analytics 4 interface, you go to Reports, Acquisition, and then you will find the Referrals report. You can click it and here you will see the domains that users previously visited before they landed on your website. And the third option to view referral data is to build an exploration. So you can go to Explore, click blank, and here you need at least two dimensions. And if you want, you can add multiple metrics. So in the dimensions section, click plus and add two dimensions, session default channel group, and then session source, click import, then metrics. Here you can click plus 
and decide what kind of metrics do you want to use. For example, it might be sessions, it might be users, it might be some other metrics. But right now, just to keep this video short, I will use those two metrics. So click import and then double click on session source to add it to the report, then double click on both metrics. And right now you will see not only referral traffic, but actually all traffic. However, we have this dimension, which is session default channel group, and we can use it to narrow down and analyze only the subset of data. So click on filters, click session default channel group, and then here you should enter exactly matches, referral, click apply. And that's the data that you have. If you want, you can change the time period, let's say to the last quarter, click apply, and there you have it. And that is how you can find referral data in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.